What's your most traumatic dating experience? You tell me in the comments, but I'll go first. So rewind back the clock. I was a young man, fresh out of a relationship, got my heart shattered into pieces. So I did what any young man in my position would do. You know, get there. Realize the fact that I'm in a state of mourning about losing the girl who I saw as being my future wife. Nah, I'm just fucking with y'all. I downloaded a date now. I was on a mission to slut myself the fuck out. Look, we don't confront hard emotions over here. We bury them deep down inside. Clap some cheeks until you feel better. So I downloaded OkCupid and ended up matching with this one girl. She was half white, half Cuban, but had blonde hair, blue wise look like an Aryan's wet dream. I give y'all this detail just because it's gonna put a lot of shit into perspective lately. Me and a girl is hitting it off. Text messages getting racy. We over here talking about freak nasty shit. Now, I still lived at home at the time but she lived at a house near a college campus and invited me through. Now the plan was to eat some pizza, sip on some wine, and go watch a movie. Now in my head that just sounds like a coy way of saying she wants her guts rearranged. Cheeks busted. And I'm 100% the man for the job. She sent me the address. I hopped in my grandmother's Jeep. Went to CVS to buy Plan B. Because condoms are for cowards. If you're not willing to play Russian roulette with your tallywhack. By sticking it into concentrated danger, I'm sorry to say, but you're a little bit feckless, dog. I'm joking, right before you tap it. I pull up to her spot, conversation starts flowing, and she's all over me. So, you know, I'm sitting now ready for some demon time. We sit down in the living room, she puts on a movie, Pulp Fiction. Never seen it at the time. Didn't set the mood, but I was entertained. She gets up, goes to the kitchen, and comes back with two identical glasses of wine. This is very important. She sets one in front of me, and one in front of where she's gonna be sitting. She tells me she's gonna be right back. She about to go check on the pizza. And I'm sitting here waiting, ready for tonight's events. That's why I look at my drink and capriciously decided to rearrange them. I don't know why I did it. But I think it's because my mother always told me never to accept a drink that you didn't see poured in front of you. She eventually comes back. We over here cuddling and start enjoying the movie. 15, 20 minutes later, she asked me if I'm tired. Man, you gotta understand. I'm cuddled up with this girl with wood hard enough to cut diamonds. Trying to calculate the most efficient and effective way to ask her to take a titty out and pop one in my mouth. You know, respectful. So I tell her no, but 15, 20 minutes later after that, she's knocked out. Now I'm over here like nudging her, trying to be all playful to wake her up but she's like not moving whatsoever. So at this point, I'm freaking out. I never have a girl just randomly pass out on me, completely unconscious, unresponsive. So I'm like looking around, wondering what the fuck is going on. What do I do? I'm like, bet, let me go pour some cold water on her face. I look around, see the glasses, and that's when everything clicked. This motherfucker just slipped herself a Mickey, trying to roofie my ass. Now you got to understand, there is no way that if my six foot black ass called the police, standing over top of this five foot two, blonde hair, blue eyed white girl, and they believe I'm the victim. So I did what any any young man with two brain tails in that position would do. I wiped my fingerprints and got gone. I wasn't sticking around for the other shoe to drop. I should have took something on the way out. You know, just for her having the audacity. But not gonna lie, her place was kind of bare bones, so you know. So I finally got home, deleted and blocked her off for everything, deleted the dating apps. It took me years of therapy to start using dating apps again. Even to this day, if I go out drinking with a woman, I toss my drink if I have to step away. But you wanna know what the worst part is? Besides all the trauma, it's the thought in the back of my head, the question that'll never be answered. Why did she try to roof me? She knew I was down the fuck. I'm sure men can't perform when they're roofing. So it couldn't have been a sexual thing, right? Now all I can imagine is their dudes with ski masks waiting for me in the back room so they can surgically remove my kidneys and put that shit on the black market. And that right there is a thought that genuinely haunts me to this day. Remember, King, you gotta stay vigilant. Don't let these girls razzle dazzle you into a false sense of security. All right, some of them out here is treacherous. When you gonna be out here slutting around in these streets, you gotta be ready for anything. Share some of your traumatic dating stories in the comment section. We'll call it toxic therapy with a toxic king. But until then, go ahead and follow. Stay toxic.